right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Hi guys, okay. welcome back to my channel. It's Debbie in the building as always. If you are new to my channel, you're highly welcome. And if you're my old returning subscriber, you are highly welcome. So guys, in today's video, I'll be doing something different. Yeah. In today's video, I'll be trying foreign foods. All the Obodo Ibo fruits, all the fruits I came to this country and saw that I've never tested before. And I've been seeing people use it for smoothie, you know, see people eating it. Especially YouTubers, I used to see most of them use it for smoothie, you know, eat it and all the rest of them, which I have never tried. So I decided to do a mukbang, a fruit mukbang. So that the train will not leave me. Eh? This is actually my first mukbang video. And I'm using foreign fruit that I've not tested before. So I'll be eating them, testing them with you guys. And then I'll be telling you guys what it tastes like. Yeah. So if you've not tried it, you can as well go and try it. You get. Mm -hmm. You can also join me and try it. Yeah. So these are the fruits. See, guys, I don't know their names. Most of them, I don't know their names. But I will try and translate it maybe when I'm editing the video. I will translate the Italian names in English and then write it out for you guys while editing the video. This one is melon. I know they call it melon. And Italians, they call it meloni. And I think meloni means melon. So, but I'll still check it out and write it out, you know. Then, this is what it looks like before I cut it. I just cut this one. This is the remaining. This is the back. What the back looks like. And this is the inside. It looks like um, our melon seed you know melon how do i even put it i don't know how to put it our melon seed now <laughs> before you now bring out the seeds it also has seeds like our melon can you see the i don't know if you can let me bring it closer can you see the tiny seeds inside this is what it looks like but you cut out all these things and then lick it see the ones i've cut i remove the head out put this one inside. i've not tested it before so I don't know how it tastes, so <laughs> that's why I just cut out only this one. But I've seen people eating it, so it's not poison. Yeah, it's still food that you can eat, fruit that you can eat. So guys, I will start digging it. Hmm. It's not bad. It tastes like our popo, Nigerian popo. Yeah, papaya. It tastes somehow like popo. I think so. Although it has um, stronger taste. It's not bad. It's okay. I think I like it. It's not that bad. In fact, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Mm. 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 I'm not sure I'll be able to finish all this fruit. So, this is kiwi. Mm. Let me just cut it. This kiwi, I've seen so many people using it for smoothie, like Judith Fit. I am Judith Fit. I always see her using it for smoothie on her channel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is what the inside looks like. It has tiny black seeds inside. This tiny black seed looks like um, guava. Something like that. Our Nigerian guava. This one is sour. <laughs> it has a strong sour taste. Um, it's not that bad, <laughs> but it's bad for me because it's sour. <laughs> mm -mm. <clears throat> it has a little sweet taste, but more sour taste. You get. It tastes like um, 
our guava, but the one that is not sweet. If you're Nigerian, you will understand what I'm saying. Our guava, <laughs> our guava fruit that slaps. That's what it tastes like. Mm. That's what it's good. I'll use it for smoothie. I have watermelon. So I'll just add it in the watermelon just to eliminate the taste, this, the sour taste, you know. I'll mix it with a watermelon and um, mm. which one do I have here again? I also have pear. So I'll just use it for smoothie. I can't. Mm -mm. Mm. I can't eat it again, please. <laughs> Oh my god so this is i don't know the name of this one guys but i'll check it out and run it to study ah oh my goodness guys mm. Mm. i love this wow So far, so good. Oh, I thank God oh, for giving me life today. Ah, ah, I think I like this one. So far, I think this is the best so far. Among all these ones I've tested. Mm. Mm, and it has this seed tiny seed so i finished that one yay so guys let me just be just seeing you guys i don't even know what that one tastes like but all i know is that it's sweet i enjoyed it so this is another one i forgot to show you guys what this one looks like look at it i don't know the name i think um this one now and the, the, this last one I leave they are the same thing one is big those are this one is big and the other one is small that's the only different but they are the same fruit mm -hmm. they are the same thing mm. they are the same thing so this is another one see what this one looks like I don't know the name but i'll check out the name as i said earlier um so guys there's this thing i want to discuss with you guys i just want to talk about i really don't know, I don't know why people tend to mock um people that are actually doing legit businesses you know just to um make ends meet you know just to feed themselves oh my goodness is this how this fruit is or what see you see how the inside is or is it that this one is not good oh my god something i've not tested before how do i know if this one is bad now or if it's how the fruit is guys hey what do i do <sighs> who knows if it's how the fruit is let me check <laughs> oh my god see me oh <laughs> Let me not eat poison, though. <laughs> okay, it's like it's how the fruit is, so see. <laughs> Guys, to be on the safer side, eh? It's like I'll browse about the fruit and know. <laughs> Let me just eat only this place. To be on the safer side, I don't really know if it's how the fruit is or if this one is spoiled. Can you see? I'm not looking again. <laughs> this one is a no no for me. It has this, how do I put it? Um, it's somehow sweet, also sour. <laughs> it has a sour taste and also sweet. Hmm? There's another one. This, oh, let me. Peel it out, just peel out a little. So, as I was saying, if you are doing um maybe a petty business just to help yourself, 
You will see people mocking you, you know. That is why people find it difficult these days to do petty business. Rather, they, they want a gombute. See. See the inside. Ah, uh, guys. Okay, I think is how it is. So, look at it. This is what the inside looks like. It has that reddish thing inside too. Just like this one. But this one is much. They are the same fruit but different species kind of. I think so. Can you see? See this one has the reddish thing inside also. But this one is the reddish thing inside is small. Why this one is much? So see the one I brought up. Let me just test this one. So as I was saying, that is why people tend to go for Egon Bute. Mm -hmm. Then this one is manageable, sweet, sour <laughs> taste. But the sweet taste is more than the sour taste. Huh. I'm not taking another one, it's okay. So people, people tend to go for fast money, you know. They want the one that as in the money that will come fast, fast. So they do a manner of things like prostitution, like Yahoo, and the rest of them. Why people that are doing legit business, doing petty jobs, helping themselves, you know, they will be mocking them. You see, the society we are living in. I can remember when I graduated I, um, from school after serving, I came back and um, I opened a shop in one of our lock up shops, you know because um we have so many lock-up shops in my house then so i decided to use one of them to start a provision shop um, shop you know that is how some people in my street were mocking me saying hey, after graduate a whole graduate i'll be selling crayfish you know as in i don't understand I like this one. I think I like this one. It's not too sweet, but it's manageable. And this is the last fruit. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, where I was talking, I didn't show you guys what this one looks like. <sighs> so, some people were just gossiping with my name, you know, mocking me, saying I'm a whole graduate selling crayfish and pepper you know that kind of thing as in that shop really helped me i use it to take care of myself i still save money from it you know at least i use it to take care of myself as a lady make my hair you know and get my cream and all that oh is it better for me to be jumping around or sleeping around with men I know that then opening a provision shop. It's not that I'm just them. I'm just using it to pass out time and then looking for job. You, you guys know how Nigeria is now. But still, people still mocked me. They still use it to bring me down, you know? So guys, hmm. anyway, sometimes I don't blame all these people that move around sleep around with men and all that do prostitution that is because of the society we are living in you get because of the society we are living in but on the other hand don't still do that try to learn a skill and do something for yourself there's nothing like legit there's nothing like legit business there's nothing like legit earning it will give you peace of mind and also save you from unnecessary dangers you know so guys that is all for this video as you guys can see at least i've tried them i know the ones i can like <laughs> this one these two i'm never going to buy them never Mm, I can buy this one 
melon yeah but these other ones no 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 i'm never <laughs> going to buy them or try them again so that is all for this video guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't thank you so much for watching please stay safe stay blessed see you all in my next video bye, -bye.